next to a strangely confident looking drow. They seem to be finishing some elaborate and unholy ritual. What? Surprised I am not who you thought I was? I should have killed you at the start. This is nothing, my friend, a nuisance. The ritual is underway, and the silver flame is powerless to stop it. So pray, shall we continue? Now, give yourselves, my children. Give to the glory of our cause. Stand aside! Let my minions kill this thing! What do you want? I see you. You exist. I see you. Hi. Mm. Hi, you exist. I see you. Hi. Yes, hi. Go lay down. You have entered the nether realm of Kyber. 
A magical barrier built by the silver flame glows on the path ahead. Dusty remains <laughs> lie in front of a sealed stone door on the far side of the room. Hey, Mons, how you doing? Hot, stale air blows into the chamber as the stone door slides open. Check your pockets. Nice character name. Bogue, I'm surprised it doesn't hurt you. You are good. Cats and dogs working together. Man, it's serious. The drow here are intently flying dragon shards from the cavern wall. So yeah, nothing exciting, just XP grind. Thanks everybody for watching, appreciate it. Continue to grind through here for, maybe we'll cap today, probably not. Probably won't be playing enough to cap on this particular character. Well, not necessarily, but a heal would be useful. Well, this stuff is fire resistant, so being a Fire elemental savant thing is a bit annoying. A chasm in rocks and sharpened stakes lies under a narrow path. I forgot about that. One wrong step. Almost died.
I mean, the dog is really bored. He seems to be acting like he needs something else to do. Evading. It's annoying. Definitely need to heal. Probably do Dots help at all. Yeah, I can try for one of those, but yeah, it's gonna save against it, so. Really should get the more powerful polar rares. Ooh, I got one through. That's cool. Let's see if disintegrate helps. This is... Oh, there we go. Disintegrate helps. The fire weaver lord howls as his essence is scattered back into the lava. From which he came. I don't usually go this way, so I don't usually get that chest. Hey, bug. It is flanked by a pair of empty stars. See you on and off. Flamefang is banished in a burst of heat and fire, snarling in anger. Whew, somebody stinks. You know, now there's a another. Ryan right before the boss. Go wait for that. There's one right there.
Denolus, hello. What are you doing? What do you want? You hungry? So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I am watching Chad. If you want to say hi or ask questions or whatever. I can't stand around the chest necessarily. The mimic of it going. the spinner. This is the plot heavy one. Looks like Bonnie's on break. Strange glowing spiders are locked in battle with some kind of spirit made up of pale blue flames. The 
the spiders are devouring the flames, absorbing them into their bodies as they attack. Hey, Heliscar. How's it going? Yep, it just shows you what buttons I'm pressing. So if you, it's more for when I do tutorials. I have it up now just because, but it shows you the key presses I'm making. Gives you an idea of what I'm doing during battle. Dog, stop touching my mouse hand. Sometimes it's hard to get a feeling for the key presses when you're watching somebody play, but it's a way to show that. Yep. No problem. Lay down, dog. Planus should be in the top right. Yeah, it's up in the top right in red as an overlay, but it's uh, semi-transparent, so it's kind of hard to see. The spinner of shadow struggles against her weakening bonds, while below her, look, the spiders consume the last of the flames, and you find yourself unable to move. So here's the plot. Let's take some of the UI stuff out for the moment. I see that you have brought me the dragon shards that she needs. Though I also see that you have allowed some pests to follow you inside. The demon overlord glares down at you with contempt. The stink of Emeron is on you, mortals. I will turn my attention to your world in due time. But for now, it pleases me to let you live. Someone must witness my return and survive. Destroy these intruders, my lady! One of the Rakshasa's growls. We will report your glorious release to the world. Now let us leave this place. You must help us release the other demon overlords. I will do no such thing. Now that I am free, I have no need for the other overlords, or for you tedious lords of dust. Not when she awaits me. Now be gone! 
A burst of blue flame suddenly erupts in front of the demon. The spinner of shadow screams and scuttles back into the darkness. You feel her grasp on you slip as the silver flame yep. guardian speaks. Oh, oh, I put the UI back on so I can play. Not escaped yet. Some of the flame still burns here. Okay. I was going to make a video um, on how to do that at some point, but I was hoping you had at least gotten started with it. Destroy her spiders. They have consumed the essence of the silver flame that holds her here. If you can light the wards again, she returns. I see your game. Ah, the mortals are always pawns with the demons and the gods and other the freaky stuff. Flame whispers in your mind. Many spiders have burrowed underground, yet they can feel the spinner's pain. Yeah, it's not too bad to get set up. Drive them up. One of the reasons I want to get it going because it's not really that bad, so I think a video shouldn't be too hard to do. Just out of range. Um, when you click your connecting to Twitch, you have to add a name there. I am not sure what you're talking about, so let me finish this quest and I can help you try to debug that a bit. Or no, we have one. Yeah, I should be able to do that. While the plot goes. So, click your connected Twitch. It's just Twitch. Or do you have to add the name there in the queue? No, I think there should be a stream key, and that's your key, your Twitch stream key. If I remember right, what that screen is. Um, that's what all you need. You don't need a, any other name, so you... From the drop down, you choose Twitch, I think, and then. Yeah, there. You don't. It, it was an older video. It was just the first one that popped up when I did a search. But yeah, let me see if I can look that up at the moment. Alright, so you're talking about. Settings. Broadcast settings. Mine is mode live stream streaming service Twitch. The FMS URL is one of them. It doesn't matter which one. And then you put your stream key in, and that should be all you need to do to get streaming. You shouldn't need to do anything. There's a better video that I found before, but I figured that one would be close enough just to get you the stream key set up. Me, my sister. 
Prize the spinner of shadows. Hey Gilly, how's it going? Decides to change tactics. Arise, my spiders! Destroy the Guardian! Without it, the mortals are lost. Yeah, that should be it. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Unexpected coughing. I think I have haste still on. The swarm of spiders subsides, and the guardian is once again safe. Time for you to finish relighting the wards. The demon chuckles in the shadows. An amusing game, mortals, but you are out of time. I grow strong. Well, I didn't know that. that the reason you don't light the torches until you have all the things is because the hazard spawn is lowered if you do that.
last ward ignites, and there we go. light fills the cavern. The spinner of shadow shouts, but it is a shout of triumph, not defeat. Once again, you are held in an irresistible way, of course. More plot. Spider butt. This is fascinating watching a spider butt. Leave them. Lord commands. The demon web will soon swallow this place and them along with it. Now, bring me the dragon shards. There is much to do. And it's Miss Billy Button. Lord's voice fades away. In the background there. You suddenly find yourself outside the prison. There I see her really good. See her really well. She's rather large. I am of the opinion that you should at least I see you dog you don't need to screw up my mouse hand okay I see you, you don't need to screw up my mouse hand okay okay I see you hey hello everyone how's it going um Sorry for that blow out there. That cutscene is really loud. I think you should have at least one bar that you know the buttons to on. Any particular character. Um, I'm trying to transition to be able to do two different bars between the G13 and the Naga, but uh, oh, hey, no problem. Welcome, thanks for watching. Let's see, we need to go demon web. I presume we're gonna do the rest of this. Um, because it, it is a lot quicker when you have it just ingrained in you that. For example, on this character, um, you probably can't see it because of the chat boxes for my other characters, but I have Acid Spray as one, Burning Hands as two, Scorch is three, Fireball is four, Acid Arrow is five, Acid Blast is six, Cold Ray is seven, Wall of Fire is eight, Acid Rain is nine, and Prismatic Spray is ten. Hey, Alice Garcia, thanks for stopping by. I guess we're not doing this. Interesting. Usually we do it all. 
Um, but, you know, my mouse has 12 buttons on the left side, so they're thumb buttons. There's 12 of them. So any of those I can hit while my attention somewhere else. I just know, okay, I have three rows, four rows, three buttons, or three rows, or four buttons, however you want to look at it. And so I know where to go for each of those. And so I don't really have to think about it when I'm casting those spells. And that helps a lot when you're in combat. Um, on my other characters, for example, my fighter, it's all tactical abilities and cleaves and such. And that helps as well that, you know, while you're in melee right there fighting, it's a lot quicker to hit those than it is to find them with the mouse. Um, and you can use your mouse for other control instead. That's the way I find it anyway. You may find it different but, uh, depending on your playstyle and what characters you're playing, but I would think at least those first 10 buttons or 10 slots on your bar are useful. Hey, menus. So that's my opinion that you should at least know some of them. Um, I'm working on figuring out a way to use a modifier key to be able to access up to 24 instead of just the 10 or 12 I have now. Because actually right now my meta magics are on 11 and 12, which is dumb because I never really turn them off. So I need to relocate those and think about what needs to be there. But yeah, I highly recommend uh, learning at least for your primary character where that stuff is so you can use it a lot quicker and easier. It gets weird when you're switching characters though because like I said earlier I actually hit 12 which is on my fighter is Cocoon and I don't have Cocoon on this character yet and it's not in 12 even if it was none of my heals are in 12. So you gotta be careful when you switch characters that you don't you think you're playing a different character because that can get awkward. But just like any game, if you or any app really that you use the shortcuts, then you're much quicker at switching what you're doing. It's advantageous to do so. Oops. Alright. So we're really close to level. What is going on? Oh, Wiz King E. Interesting. E. Wellen. Uh, don't like Shend. All my guildies is over there doing that. Let's see what we have. Frameworks too late. Did I take 16? Because I could sure use Veil Flagging. What else? Hey, cat, no. You don't need to play with that. No. No. Back off. Let's see. Yeah. I, th I think it's really great if you can get everything set to where it makes sense to you. Um, it's a really personal thing, and it is like a slight learning curve um, to get all that set up, which is why I haven't quite gone there yet. I haven't really settled down with this character where I want to be, uh, what abilities I want where, and all that yet, so that's part of it. But yeah, it definitely helps um, when you do that. It's probably more obvious if I go over to Shaw. I know, dog. The whole wide world's out there and you're stuck in here with me. It's such a sad, sorry state of affairs, dog, isn't it? Aren't you just so depressed? Yeah, me too. Yeah, that would be a problem. Do they make MMO mice in left-handed versions? 
I thought I remember seeing one, but I can't tell you off the top of my head which one it was. They also need to make bigger mice for those of the bigger hands. So we can see on this one up here, oh, let's see, let me move chat a bit. There we go. Up here I've got cleave, great cleave, improved trip, zeal of the righteous, power surge, haste boost. Shattering Strike, Consecration, Aura Purification, I have a whatever the quest I need. Um, there's, in this case I was doing Abbott recently, so there's boulders there. And then Cocoon is actually on 12, not 11, even though it looks like it should be on 11. And then my Silver Flame Healing Pots are on 11, not 12. And those are all accessible with my right thumb and on the mouse. I have a bunch of keys on my um, G13, what do they call it, game board, on my left hand, but I use that mostly for all of Windows and stuff. I don't use it a lot for um, abilities and such. I know those are easy to do elsewhere, but I've gotten used to having them because I like referring to my character sheet or my inventory a lot, so that's kind of how I do this. Hey, Tenebrius. 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 How's it going? So yeah, it's a, once you get used to it, it's really powerful way to switch things out. I used to have uh, various weapons on hotkey so it was easier to switch mid-combat weapons but I find I don't switch weapons very often especially when you have things like this that have metaline and I have blessed blades on so it's good and lawful. Don't really have to worry about changing very often. Hey Lemdul, 81, how's it going? But yeah, it's a very personal thing, but I like the way I have them set up at the moment. They work for me. Uh, I'll just... Uh, let me think. House D. I'll run some House D stuff. I am currently 18 fighter 2 monk. This is my main character and um, it's taken me a while to get things together so I started as a fighter and stuck with it for a couple years on and off and then just before the armor pass came I decided that I couldn't survive traps. It just wasn't working and I needed to have more survivability so I went monk for the evasion and stances and it has worked out pretty well so far. Um, this is my eighth epic life, something like that. It's worked out pretty well. I pretty much stick with my level 20 gear until I get to 27 and can do the Necropolis or uh, Orchard Epic gear. And I switch over to heavy armor and all that fun stuff. But I'm doing Epic Reincarnations serially. So it makes more sense to have better gear, lower level gear than worry about the higher level stuff at this point. If I was staying at epic levels at cap, I would probably go ahead and stick reincarnate to pure fighter and go that way because it makes more sense, I think. But 
the way I'm playing, I think it makes more sense to have the two monk levels and get the benefits from that at the lower epic levels. And I have the gear for it at the moment, so it makes more sense that way too. You can walk through most traps and evade. Although I do have to twist in unearthly reactions to get my reflex up a bit higher. I like the uh, set bonus on the Way of the Sun Soul. Extra healing on crits or on purples, whatever it is. I would like to get one of those heroic uh, rings with Defender on it, though. Yeah, that's where I'm lacking at the moment. If you see my, I have 19 PR and 6 MMR. That's you know nothing. Now I'm at 26. Now once I hit to 27, it changes a, a whole lot. But You need more. Of course, I'll be getting that with the Divine Past Life gives you PR, doesn't it? I forget. So that'll help a bit. Slowly. Three points at a time, or whatever it is. These DCs are not high enough. Oh, Mimic. Hello. I love how the Mimics seem to move even though they're knocked down. That's nice. Alright. Mimics are hilarious. Ron the Seraphim, hello. Taking too long to kill. Let's get some things in here. Speed that up. There we go. So somebody has 459 lost modes. Where's Skunk? I want to see my skunks farmed. He left, didn't he? It's too bad. Curious to see how many modes he's farmed up. He was triple barred. Yeah, I've seen a couple uh, LFMs for Haunted Halls Mimic Farming. If I was 27 and had my better gear on, I'd probably do it, but I just know I'm not going to be doing much in there at the moment. One thing I've been farming is Irestone. And if you hit Irestone with a full party and everybody splits up, and it's that 15 minute window where every chest is a mimic, you can clean up. It's really nice if you get that combination of events. It only takes a minute or two to clear Irestone with that many people. And then you're on to the next instance. Recall, reset, go in. 
which probably takes longer than running the instance, really. Yeah, I've seen people saying Storm Reaver. Why Storm Reaver Fresco? I just saw that earlier. Huh. Only five or six kills each run. That's awesome. Somebody was saying they were uh, an LFM up for farming zombies for it. Well, I guess that means they had champion zombies and they kept dropping chests, so they were getting it there. I'm not sure. I didn't join that one, but I saw they left him up. Wow. Maybe I'll get in one of those groups. Somebody says it's Frenzy on Thelonis right now. So if you're on Thelonis. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I can see that. Get some of those places where you get a bunch of those guys. And yeah, I see that. So eventually I should head over to Stronger Fresco next. If I can get... So that's my main beef with the way the card rate, the card, sorry, hey, yeah, let me make is that I really want a plus five chest, and in the previous Maybar event, I knew what I needed to do to get it, right? There was a definite way to guarantee it, it just keep grinding the moats. Now you can't. Now it's all random. So somebody may get it really early and some people may never get it. That's the thing that annoys me, I think, about it. It was guaranteed and now it's not. That was my beef with the anniversary cards too, is if you didn't get a good roll, then you were never going to get one of the higher level items. And no one was going to trade any other card for those higher, higher cards, those rare cards. There wasn't going to be an equitable trade that was made sense. So... Or, you know, they compare it to like a trading card thing. And trading card games in particular have, you know, a rare in every pack. I mean, you might be the rare you want, but you get a rare in every pack. And a couple uncommons and then a bunch of commons. That's how trading card games work. That is a more fair distribution than one card where you have a 1% chance or whatever of it being a rare at all, let alone the one you want. 
You know, 20 motes for a pack of three cards or something. Make it 40, 50, whatever, you know, with one guaranteed rare and then the other stuff. Some way to do that. Oh, that's right, everything's a mimic. I don't like complaining about free stuff very much, but I think there could there was other ways to handle it where everybody could get what they wanted. Even if it was a hundred motes for a pack of cards, I don't know some other option in there that they could still add. You know, they could still add a pack of cards with a guaranteed rare. And it starts at a hundred motes or something. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think there's ways they could have done it where it would have been more logical for people, more fair for everybody, to not be just a lottery. But that's okay. It's still free stuff. It's still an interesting event. I enjoy the fact that I don't have to be in a certain place, grinding away at that certain place. If I want to farm, then I can go to one of the places where it's easier to farm stuff, but I don't have to. I, that is a real good thing, I think. I was frustrated at the anniversary cards that I never got anything to make a flask because, you know, who's going to trade that when you don't have one? And the, the same problem here is, yeah. I mean, really, it's 20 modes per item for all the items, right? That's really what it is right now. It's 20 modes per item. Yeah. I like more guaranteed drops and such. Did I forget to pick? I forgot to pick the chest, didn't I? I bet I did. Man. Not really with it at the moment. Yeah. And then if you want to make it, you know, only one of each item at that level because they're rare, then fine. That makes sense, right? But then everybody has a shot at the stuff that they want. And fine if it's one per server, it's one per server. I don't see why it wouldn't be one per character, but you know, whatever. But then everybody could have those items. And not be just the lucky people who got them. Or the people who did the optimal quests. Everybody could have an equal chance at those. Well, I guess, that, I mean, theoretically they have equal chance, but in reality, there's not going to be many of those things built. So. I could get by on, I think, three items. I wanted the plus five tome and the wraps. I think the cloak. 
I wouldn't mind some of the other stuff, but I already have the companion, which is too annoying to actually use. My first four cards, one of them I got two, two of the ones I needed for the companion, so I hadn't got it. And boy, is it annoying! It's way too loud. Generally, everybody does one of two things with their Thunderforged if they're melee. They go the route I have, or they go the um, negative route for if something is uh, fire resistant or fire immune. That's the, all I've seen really for melee is one of those two. I'll show mine in a second. I, I think it's first degree burns, and then I don't remember what the next one is. Thank you for dying finally. Even the key chester mimics this is awesome. I had a hilarious moments earlier where people were dying to the uh, mimics on E they were looking at the treasure and not paying attention and all of a sudden, hey look, Mimic! I'm dead. It was funny. So yeah, I've got Dragon's Edge and First Degree Burns because of the armor piercing on Dragon's Edge. So that's the way I've seen most people do it. Um, First degree burns because of the vulnerability, not necessarily the fire, but the vulnerability. Um, there's also a third one with pure fire for direct damage, but since so much stuff's fire immune, you, you've got that choice. And then um, the other option is whatever the one that's negative energy is. Instead, if something's fire immune, do that. But the fort bypasses. The real, actually, since the event, the mimic thing's going, I should make sure I do this first. Make sure I do this. Yeah, you probably want the negative energy one. That's the secondary one people use. Um, and yeah, you have to be careful not to use it on negative energy creatures or else it heals them. But. That's the other main option I've seen people do because of the fire immunity on first degree burns. It doesn't help you on fire immune creatures, but you still get a stack of vulnerable as far as I understand it, so I don't see why you wouldn't just use that. I mean, I guess if you're really squeaky, squeezing out every last bit of damage. Um, I don't want it. There you go, thank you. Yeah, that Mimic Slobber on E was hitting for like 400. It was quite a bit of damage. Why am I not attacking? Come on. Why am I not attacking? Hello, thank you. Attack. Yeah, I would definitely go first three burns. Um, I think it's the most useful overall. It is sort of an all-in-one thing. Um, if you go the pure fire damage, then that's another option. But uh, I think the first three burns is, for general use, better. I like having more general use than more specific weapons, so that keep that in mind too. That. I like first degree burns because that vulnerable stacks, so when you're fighting bosses it's great. And on other stuff, generally speaking, it dies fast enough not to worry about it. If you're really optimizing, then you probably do want to get one of the fire ones and one of the negative level ones. I've got three Thunder Thunderforge right now. I have a 22, 24, and 26. Um, because again, I'm epic reincarnating a lot. So it makes sense to do that. Don't 
the hell? Don't come back anyway. Let's get that over with. So... Yeah, that's... the way I look at it, too. There's just so many things that the various things are not useful for that I went with what seemed like the best choice to be most general use, so I didn't have to switch weapons all the time. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Um, actually, the first one I got was my level 24 when I got it from the Astro Shard Auction House, and it was already like that, so that's kind of why I started that way. And then I liked it so much that that's when I did my own 26, I did it that way. Hey, Chuck Riki. How's it going? I think I still have... Now I have my 22 in here. So I have a 22 just because it's such a huge upgrade. Um, it makes sense too. I have one and then I have a 24 that was already slotted with a meteoric star ruby, which is awesome. And then I've got the 26 that I built. Burgundy um, Tear, is that the guy that's over here? I don't know which quest is which. Of that chain. Yep, it is. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody says uh, there's no other choice. It's just too good. I do not have a tier 3. Um, I don't stay at cap very long, so I don't see the need to build one, and I don't really have the ingredients for it anyway. At the moment, I haven't run enough stuff to get the stuff to it. Maybe at some point. Let's see if there's a group. There's no group right now. So what's this Storm Freezer fresco thing all about? Yeah, a lot of builds are gear dependent. I don't have a lot of gear. Well, I guess on this character I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with the gear that I have. But So you're saying that all those deposit box count as uh, mimics, chests for mimics to spawn? Because that would be interesting.
Oh, uh, it's over. I missed the window. Looks like Bonnie's on DDO's stream now, if uh, anybody was waiting for that. I know she had that communicated out of time, I don't want to steal her thunder, so no worries if you want to go over and watch that, I understand. That's cool. In any case, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Um, I'm probably going to stream for a little bit longer. Probably not too much, but uh, appreciate if anybody wants to follow and... Uh, be notified when I stream again. I normally stream on Tuesdays on DDO stream. And I'm trying to settle into a pattern to get at least one or two more days on my own site. Andrew Kostra. And hey, if you want to multi-twitch, that's cool too. Watch us both at the same time. But uh, understand if you just want to go over there for that. So I was in house D. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and stay in house D then. the crap axes I had before, nothing compared to Thunderforge, so I'm really happy to have gotten my Thunderforge stuff. As you enter, you are surprised to hear the clamor of battle and the cries of the wounded. The tower is being attacked from the inside. It's amazing how much a difference gear makes to your character. That's why it's a struggle when you first get to Epic too, because you know you only have your heroic gear and all of a sudden, hey you're epic. Oh great, now what? You know, you have to try to re gear. Which you can do to some extent from the auction house, but you know, all the best stuff is bound and they're harder to get usually or higher level even so that's a factor in what you can do at that level and of course then you don't have any destiny stuff you don't have any twists epic for the first time is horrible Even on my second character, I got epic finally. I mean, this is my main, it's a melee. That second character is a sorcerer. Completely different. Completely different gear needs and all that, so. Uh, it's been a challenge to get that stuff going. As well. Almost have my third Destiny capped, almost 28 for the first time. So, you know, that helps on that character. I've been picking up some gear here and there. Those first quests after you get to Epic are rude. so he doesn't bother me later. Nope. I did get him. That's good. Somehow I tripped through the other guy's feet and got the guy behind him. Die away. The 
door to the sweeps open. A thick layer of dust covers the tunnel floor. Even worse than the choking dust is the stench wafting up from the pipes. Hello, not fold. How's it going? Ah, mistimed that. All right, I guess I'll give in and put my feather fall ring on. Now I can go back off. What? Actually got me? Hmm. I missed every one of those. That's true. I might as well get my mimic bait and use it on something. sense to at least do once to free moat. No reason not to. That's another thing that should have been done differently is those mimic bait. That should be a timed effect, not just one, one chest, one moat for one dollar basically. Yeah, no. Absolutely not feeling that. I'm supposed to be evading all the stuff. left. Oh, I forgot to pull over. That's what it is. Uh... Curious how long it takes each server to get the 2,000 mimic kills to unlock the frenzy, and how they notify everybody else if everybody's in quests and not everybody's on user channels. Because the world event notification isn't working, that's for sure. Stand 
over the prone bodies of the wounded, looting them down to their last copper core. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's how you're supposed to loot the bodies. Stand the last coin, doesn't matter if it's copper. You take all the loot. Trip is just not working. Consistently enough for me. Of course that usually works fine. Procs, but it doesn't proc enough either. It doesn't proc enough enough to be reliable damage mitigation, that's what I'm saying. Sure, I'll pay. Do you want cash or check? I beat you to the place to. Hello, lag. Wow. Horrible lag. Are you ready to fight yet? Thank you. If I can kill the aliens. Well, he thinks about what he's done.
That is going on too long. My stacks of whatever just aren't enough now. There it goes. So yay, fun. Oh, good mimic. Good stuff. More XPs, more moats. Some stuff repaired, sell some stuff, see what groups are going on, decide what next. I really don't need that other anti grid axe, I don't think. It's easy enough to get another one if I need it. What I need is the piece of it. Spies. Man, I don't know. Do I really want to do E spies? Oh, what the heck? Let's do it. Yes, I was home. So this will be my last quest for the stream. It might take a little bit to actually finish it since it's on E, but uh, hey, hey.
Connection to the extra chest. Nice. Mimic, oh, that'd be too good. The extra chest with a mimic, that'd be awesome. Wrong weapon. Stunning. Always fun. Good, somebody's getting traps. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, this will be my last quest. I'll be stopping after this. I'll probably host DDO stream, so you can head over there if you'd like after this. Or now, you know, if you want to get a head start. If you don't want to see the completion of EE Spies in the House, that's cool too. Appreciate follows on here as well as DDO stream. The community stream team is working hard to try to make sure you enjoy uh, the DDO streaming we provide. caught in the web going on over there. I can't tell what's going on over there. On DDS stream, but they are doing something. Kaylan deftly finds her way out of the sewer, pausing once to look back and wave her back. I thought that would be funny if that was a uh, mimic. All of a sudden I'm soloing an E mimic. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I mostly stream DDO, but I do stream other games, um, generally either from my Steam list or oh, from the PlayStation 4, 
I really need to think about putting the ring of June on. Time, excuse me. Whew. I think what I'll do is where did I end up? Right where I wanted to be, just in a weird way. All right. that let somebody else take the lead and get all the uh, ice at them and then I combine clean up hopefully Interesting how the comet doesn't take out the uh, webs. I kind of figured that's what they would do. Don't quite have conquest yet. We may not get conquest because we. Did bypass a bunch of mobs. Should be okay to go back to this ring now. Vandal bonus. We should be good then. Let's see how much we get. 86. Almost 87. That's good. I like that. So there you have it. Hey Prairie Dog. Just caught me as I was about to head out. Um... I do appreciate your interest in my channel, and thank you for stopping in and watching. Um, I do host, let's see, DDO stream on Tuesdays, um, and here's the schedule for DDO stream, and then here's more of me. Hi, Prairie Doug. I find me on YouTube, Twitch, my site, and Steam. I probably will make my Twitter public here shortly and maybe do a Facebook profile. We'll see. But again, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and host DDO stream. So um, if you want more DDO action today, right now, I highly recommend going over there. But as for me, I am going to stop for the day. I've been going for quite a while now, almost eight hours. So, again, thanks for your interest. I uh, appreciate any follows, both on Twitch and YouTube. And I will see everybody next time. Thanks a lot.